Hello, comrades. Welcome back to the Soviet Republic. Our workers and resources are working very well as our helicopter is uh, taking things to a new thing. Hey, so in the last video, I mentioned about the trains and stuff, and uh, I was actually wrong. I'm probably going to be told this in the comments, but uh, I figured it out. It's I just like, what the hell, I'll try it. So apparently, the, the, the range here, this is just the automated search, right? This here, this... 4,500 meters. It's an automated search. It will search for things automatically in this region. But if you just manually manually click the job, um, the train will go to the job. So, like, this train is on its way somewhere. I don't actually know. There it is. The train is actually going to go to the job. Yeah, it's going to take care of it. So, uh, I was kind of wrong on that. I assume it's the same way for the helicopter. So, the range is just the automated route. Uh, so, for that reason, I would like to get our new construction office going too, but I need to get resources over here to do that. And um, so this video is going to be about trying to get a train to take materials over to this area uh, so that we can, you know, have them all working right. Before we do that, though, I'd like to set up a couple of insurance policies, if you will. We've got people over here, right? And uh, they're looking for a job. Right? We don't have jobs and stuff for people. We don't have power supply either. So there's a couple of things I'm going to do today. The first is I'm going to get started on our solar power. Oh, I'm a big fan of solar. If you know me, I'm a big fan of solar. And uh, we're going to take and uh, get started on that. Now, it's going to be very expensive to build it. But we're going to start building it with our own resources. And uh, part of this is like facilitating these resources, right? Is getting it to bring them in here. I need the resources to be brought in here. So, um, what I'd like to do, and most of these resources, of course, will be brought here, but I need to get it delivered to here, too. So, we're going to have a solar farm. I kind of want it to be over in this area, maybe facing this way. I think it'd be really cool to have it here. And uh, we just place it down about... I'm, I'm trying to aim, basically, all of the medium voltage lines that direction so I can use them. Uh, but the big... Uh, beefy sort of high high voltage line is facing towards the rest of our civilization. I'm going to need to flatten the ground for this. A uh, really cool thing you do, you just hold down the button and you can do it. So I'm going to maybe line it up with this uh, intersection here. It's kind of a waste of space. I want to bring it in here even closer. We're just going to hold down the left mouse button. And this is going to flatten the terrain to place this. It takes a little bit of time to do that. But we're just going to make that happen. There we go. There's a lot of terrain to flatten. I guess it does it like one dot at a time, apparently. Wow. It does take quite a bit of time, doesn't it? If you have a bulldozer in the area and you pause the game, you can do this kind of stuff for free. Uh, if you unpause the game, notice you're going to start using money to do this. Now... This doesn't look like I'm using that much money, but really I'm making money very quickly and allowing it to take place at the same time. And it looks like it's actually going to go faster if you unpause it. So uh, we're just going to leave it unpaused here and pay for it because I think that's pretty fair. I know I started out not doing that, but I uh, forgotten all about it and I looked up and went, oh, it's paused. I might as well mention this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there you go. So we're going to leave things unpaused when we do landscaping because I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's uh, that's a better way to do it. It's a personal feeling thing. You can do whatever you want, though, if you're playing it. All right, so we're going to drop that down. That's our first solar power, okay? Now, this is taking place near all of this stuff, right? And this is going to provide power to this area. Now, the other thing that's not quite so fair is that I have a permanent day, right? Like, I don't have the day-night cycle on. So, I always have 100% sun. We... I want to leave it up to you guys. It's going to take a little bit to build this. So, I have some, I have a couple of videos probably until this is done. Um, but I want to leave it up to you guys. Did you... Were you okay with that, that video where I showed the day-night cycle? It was very dark, right? There was some parts there where it was dark. But do you mind... It, 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 I, I think, I don't know, like, building in, dark, in, the, in the dark time or in the night time is not that great because it's just dark you can't see things especially in the winter but do you mind the darkness or do you are you like hey man 
Can we maybe not have that be dark? Because it was really hard to see, right? I'm open to your feedback. Uh, let me know. So I'm trying to have the helicopter construction office drop things off for the right stuff. And I clearly forgot to unmark this stuff. So I guess it's just going to deliver it somewhere. Yeah, off you go, helicopters. I want to suspend construction on all these factory paths. I don't want these things here. We don't have anything laid in. I want to say, yeah, right here. So they started working on the steel mill right now. The helicopters are bringing resources to the steel mill. And that's great. We're going to expand on that by actually getting the train working. And I think, actually, this little segment here is going to finish. Right? It's, he's just working on this little segment. And then starts the big segment to get over here. Right? And uh, I think that's definitely next. I want him to finish all this. I want this... this, this uh, train to just get all of this done all right uh, we're just gonna have to select that kind of uh ongoing and then uh, i can also go the other way with the train too but i want that done okay so uh insurance policy right we have all this stuff over here some of it's very expensive the helipad for example if i have a helicopter parked here plus all these other vehicles and this thing burns down i'm losing all this stuff right I'm not protecting any of this stuff from fires. And up until now, I didn't really mind. I had a couple of pump jacks fail or a couple of pump jacks catch fire. I just rebuild it with rubles and continue on my way. It didn't matter to me. But now we have buildings that are out here and very expensive to replace. I mean, construction office isn't that big of a deal, but I'll lose the vehicles too. Now we're talking like 100,000, 200,000, et cetera, rubles for a fire. I can't have that. So we're gonna come over here to uh, our city of steel. And I'm gonna place a fire department right over here. We need one anyway for this because, you know, we're gonna protect people from fires, right? We wanna protect them. Uh, so we need this anyway. However, uh, this fire department's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna place it, uh, I think maybe like right over here like this. Yeah. This fire department's gonna be just a little bit different. How much does it cost for, so 48,000 with dollars and rubles is, 39th. It's still, still less expensive with rubles. We're going to get that down. Now, we're going to get citizens to live here, of course. We're going to try to expand this town a little bit in this direction. Um, so, with that being said, I want to also go ahead and get this road kind of relayed. And honestly, we might as well just do it with asphalt. And I'll pay for it. It's whatever. We'll go up, up, up this far. We'll go about this far with what we're paying for, and then the rest of the road expansion can be done with construction materials. So we'll just kind of come out this way. And then maybe we'll have this road here also run straight over, and it can be about like that. Oh, I don't want to build it with rubles. Uh-oh. No, no, pause. Stop. Don't build with rubles. There. Continue building with your own resources. Okay. Uh, then I want to take this and go all the way straight. And we'll bring it to about, let's say, there. And then this road will just meet up like that. Okay. So we'll keep that funded too. But I don't want the construction office for the helicopters to focus on roads. Right? I want them only focused on buildings right now. And I'm actually going to, um, I think, assign, if I can. Are you, are you assigned here? Yeah, Soli Plant. Duceni. We need a new name for this town, right? Maybe we should just call it... We should just rename... Like, Duceni. Where is... Is it Duceni? Duceni? I'm actually okay with this name. I kind of like that name, actually. Um, this is like farms and stuff over here, but... I do have the list of names. I haven't updated it. Uh, you guys are going to realize I, I'm recording way in advance, right? I've been saying that. So if you've left names in previous videos, don't be discouraged. I haven't missed it. Uh, it probably just... This recording just simply has happened before you did that, okay? Uh, I'll get them. I promise. You'll, you'll, if you left it in a comment on a video, a name that I can pronounce, it will, uh, it will make its way in here sometime, okay? over here maybe or over there maybe it's possible but you know i'm gonna start of course with people who do it first and then also uh these other areas over here probably we'll rename this town over here too and uh looks like the farming district has a different name and then there's uh, a bunch of power and stuff over here we can do i thought about making another wind farm over there um i actually don't really like the location of this wind farm 
I'm not going to move it because there's no reason to move it, like, financially. But, uh, you know, later on when we're swimming in money and we're just making so much that it doesn't matter, maybe I'll clear that out and make it look nice, like a beach or tourist destination or something. It's, it's a little close to our... Like, over here, right? It's a little close to our polluters, to our industry, so I wasn't really going to do that. But, like, over here, definitely could be touristy. Over here, um, I'm thinking possibly touristy over here. And then, of course, right here, obviously. I don't think we're going to use this gravel. We'll see. Um, I probably will use this for our city and stuff instead. Because I've got adequate, adequate gravel right here, too. And then also over here. And easy to access gravel is kind of everywhere, so... It's, uh, it's easier to get to. All right, so we are having some electricity problems. And I feel like we're at the peak of our capacity for some of those lines. So I'm going to have to take a look at that at some point. What I wanted to do, though, or I forget, we need people working in the fire department, right? So uh, we're going to get a couple of prefab houses built and invite in some immigrants. So we're going to get... Uh, I like these houses. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get it right about here. And probably going to need to build some of this with resource or with, yeah, build some of this with uh, rubles just because of how, uh, like, this is going to create little tiny gaps in the road, right? So I'm going to start with maybe four buildings as an expansion. Uh, let's actually start with three. One. You know what? We'll start with two. Let's not go crazy, okay? And then we'll build this with rubles so that these are connected to roads. So they're connected to the road network now. Good. Uh, now what I want to do is I would like to get the walk paths sorted out. We can do that right back here like this. And it can just go straight like this. Very good. And this connects here. And this connects here. And this connects here. All right. So these people who are living here can do things. Now, for this... We're just going to grab random immigrants here. Um, we're not going to grab any experts or anything here. And what I'd like you guys to do is I want you to work in the fire department and also... Ooh, hey, wait, why? And only send workers to the building where they are needed or to a bus platform. All right, well, we're going to put, put you here, but I also need you here. Um, okay, we need firefighters and fire trucks. We also need power here, right? We don't have power established for this place yet. And uh, that was my worry. It's going to be very expensive to run the line out this way, but I was going to do it anyway. Because I could also hook this up to the line later on, too. Anyway, so uh, I think temporarily... Not really temporary, is it? So I've got this high uh, voltage switch placed right here near the border. And we're outputting a lot of power, right? We're exporting a lot. I think I want to take some of that and bring it out this way. Right? And there's a lot of industry here, right? There's a ton of high producing buildings and stuff like steel mill and all that. Like this is going to take a lot of power. And uh, that's why I wanted to supplement it by getting a solar farm set up. With the day night cycle, of course, we won't have the solar output during the night. So uh, we might only be able to run this during the day for a little while. But uh, I can also drop in a coal power plant if I need to or shift myself toward nuclear, which is eventually going to happen. It's just a late game thing that I'm just not doing right now. All right, so these guys have a bus platform that they can go to, which is nice, but I really want them to go here. Let's buy fire trucks. We've got ladders and regular fire trucks. I want you to, whichever one goes the fastest, really. 90, 90 is good. Uh, let's get you and get you. We'll have like three vehicles here. Let's just get a little bit of fuel purchased. Just a little bit. We'll purchase some to start out. And then um, we, of course, need power to all of this. And like to get power here, it's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. But I might do it. So it's the, the switch is really close to the U.S. border. Let's see how much it costs. If I was to bring power, probably want the highest voltage switches. But that's not really necessary. We'll go one step down, I guess. No, I want I want it to be 18 because then we're sending 18 this way potentially. And if it uh, if we need it over there, then we just stop exporting entirely. So we might need the 18 and it will redirect it because this is an on demand or in access kind of thing. So I would want this. So 
It looks like every power pole is going to run us 6,600 rubles. No? Oh, 30,000. 3,300, because this one's... There's one right there to build into it, so... It's about 3,300 rubles for each one. And I have to run it all the way out to this switch. That's about 87,000 rubles to get it there. Or... If we use dollars, then it ends up being about 113,000 US dollars. I think... Probably we'll use rubles here. It's obviously less money, um, but uh, US dollars, again, are less useful for a lot of the things I want to build later, right? Um, so, well, not later. It's mostly just for vehicles and stuff. You, there's like, you just can't buy a lot of vehicles with US dollars. But I'm going to go ahead and purchase it with rubles anyway. So we're going to bring this all the way out here. There we go. And that's just going to get built takes a little bit of time I like watching it build in, in like a row I just find it to be awesome just watching it go and then if I was to go speed up time it'd be more but I still like this just boom 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 very cool all right so we have a, a whole bunch of really high voltage stuff sent over to here right so that brings the power from our other power plant all the way across on the outside of the map to this point. Now we need to get it distributed over to here, right? And mostly I just want this stuff powered. I don't need this stuff powered yet. And um, some of these helicopters, the passenger helicopter, for example, has stopped. It's not doing anything anymore, uh, mostly because this building does not have power to refuel it. And I don't have the logistics in place to bring fuel here. But you can see we, we do have construction, right? This road has been done which is pretty cool. Uh, they started up, I, I did this road, I paid for this, and then uh, I, they've been doing this, right? Back and forth and building these little paths. I did, I did this one with Rubles too on accident. Uh, and then this one here has been started, very nice. And then uh, the gas station's right here, which is auto purchasing for now, but it doesn't have power, right? So let's get power set up here. And uh, to do that, I'm going to figure out where to place the substation first. I kind of want it to be over here just so I can power the homes, but not the industry. Industry and homes are completely separate uh, when it comes to what substation they're using. I don't want them to have any crossover at all. So uh, we're gonna probably place this. I mean, right over here is good. Sometimes like with the interface the way it is, it's sometimes hard to tell where the heck things are. Uh, so what I might do first is, is run the roads. And we'll just run this. I wish I could go. Oh, I can. Never mind. Never mind. I wish I could. I wish I could. And I can. There. We'll build this road, too. And we'll place the substation off a side road in this area. We're going to have homes right here. And schools and other stuff like that as well. I think we'll probably have a school here. Uh, a kindergarten. Actually, a kindergarten would be a great idea here. Because none of these guys will work if they have kids right now. So, why don't we... Uh, drop a kindergarten kind of into this area. Hmm. I could do it across the road, too. It's not... That's super bad. Um... Yes. I think we'll, we'll place it here. Next to this. Maybe just a little bit over. How about right here? We'll put a kindergarten here for now. We also need some other amenities for them, too. So there's a grocery store there, which is auto purchasing things. But again, no power supply yet. And we should be building that with rubles. So hopefully that happens. This we need to fund as well so that there's a road that goes into this. Um, apparently I'm not funding it with rubles. So now we are. And then uh, the next thing, let's see. We should probably get some sports for them. I'm thinking, um, I'm gonna do a radio station too. I think in this video, there's a lot of people that have spirituality needs. And we gotta get rid of that. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, and then I also wanna get, where is the indoor pool? That's in tourism. Indoor pool, we can place that maybe back here on this side of the street. No big deal. We'll fund that so they have a place to go and we're gonna go ahead and just get that road done so it's connected. Um, and then we need a pub, probably is a good idea. We'll place that, um, I think, right over here. 
<laughs> yeah, you know it. You're waiting for it. I know you are. Some of you are waiting for this. Done. <laughs> it's the prophecy has it's been foretold. Uh, we got it. If you don't know what I'm doing there, um, pretty much every pub we have in this game so far is directly connected or very, very close to a kindergarten. And uh, it has been for quite a while. And, uh, well, it continues. <laughs> all right, so we're getting all this stuff done. These roads need completed just to get this stuff in order. There we go. And good. Okay, the rest of the stuff, if, if as long as we can get people in here, the rest of the stuff is good to go. So uh, we need people to work in the kindergarten, and that means I need some experts. We'll just bring in a few of them and make sure that you're also working here. And then um, you guys are going to work at the bus stop, also here and also here. So just kind of spread yourselves out there. Now, power, since we have these buildings intact and this road is in, um, I'm thinking the power is gonna go Kind of right back in here so we'll say there's another road that runs like maybe across here and uh we'll have the power be like right in this spot i want to make sure that these homes are powered too though so it's gonna have to be way back in here oh i can't reach everything i can't reach everything with one substation there has to be multiple substations there's two it's too spread out okay no big deal um we'll start the power station over here then kind of bias it on this side We'll get it done there and then we'll put another power station or another substation over on this side and i think that will take care of the rest of these homes as we expand as well we'll just place it like right about here let's say that should take care of everybody i can't imagine it doesn't so we'll have two power stations like that now getting power lines to those is going to be interesting but i think right about here or so we can place the the transformer I think probably right around here would be okay. Place this. Uh, we can go maybe even like maybe here. Just somewhere out in the middle. Um, so that it's... Well, I don't know. Like this may be a little bit close. Closer I... See, the thing is, the closer I place this, the less lines I need going in. However, the more line I need for the high voltage ones, which is very expensive. Um, also, the transformer being so close means that it's really close to like all the stuff and i think this stuff probably looks better if it's more far away or farther away so why don't we instead get a transformer to be right about here yeah we'll go right about here with it and uh we're gonna have the line or the road for that the road can be built with rubles and we'll just have the road stretched this way like that so now we're gonna get the high voltage lines and I, I don't know if I really want the 18 because this is gonna split again so we're gonna need another high voltage switch and it's probably gonna be over on let's say I think right over on this side yeah um, we're gonna split this again because we need to provide a separate line to the in industry area I want to provide a completely separate line on that um, or high voltage line. So we're going to go about there with it, let's say. And we're going to put a... Let's put a 14 megawatt line to that way. And then we'll stick a... Probably, let's go with a 13. I don't really know how much we really need, to be honest. But we'll have the 13s head all the way over this way. And it's going to cross the railroad tracks. Come down this direction. And... Oh, popping right there. Never mind. We're good. Okay, so all of that gets built with rubles. That's 32,000 rubles right there. We'll build all of that. I'll just build this one with dollars too. Why not? Okay, so now we're running power, right? From there, from our power plants and all that stuff and the import that we potentially can do all the way down to here, this power transformer. Now, we can switch it to you know, supporting solar and stuff too. And solar, this solar plant is going to also come in over here. I would hope, I, and this is very future, okay? So I can understand why that wouldn't be a thing in 1967, okay? But I would hope that in the game for like very future years, 
you know, maybe if you progress to the year 2030 or something like that, even 2020, because we have it now, but it's not as abundant. Giant solar farms and stuff. We also have mass battery banks to help with that, because as you know, solar power does not work at night. That's what the battery banks are for to offset that. It also helps regulating wattage and or sorry, voltage as it comes out. Having a battery uh, provides that consistency and um, it's nice that way. So I would hope that they would uh, be able to do that because there's fluctuating wind, but there's a consistent output. So the fluctuations happened into the battery, not out of the battery. At least that's the way it works with our solar at our house. Um, I'm gonna take and go like this just to extend this, because it's probably going to be like a row of houses. Although, I think I'll do another street here, though. Yeah, so probably do house, house, house here. A couple of houses here, and then a street goes through here, and then we'll have more on this side and more on this side. So, it's like a proper, I guess we'll call it a proper gridded neighborhood. No technical services building over here. We don't care yet, um, but we're going to need it soon. All right, so let's pause it really quick so that the snow doesn't mess with me for now because it's a little harder to construct things in the snow and I want a 2.35 it's not necessary we're bringing 14 in so if we were to divide this up 2.35 is a pretty good deviation actually so it's fine um, so what we want is to have both of these powered and I think what we're going to have to do is to make this clean, I want this to be really clean. I'll probably run it this way. Yeah, we'll run it this way. Like this. We'll hug this as close as we can. Okay. And then we're going to run this along the walk path to here. Okay. And then we're going to keep it going. Um, hang on, that's not what I want to do. Keep this going all the way out. And then over, I think. You want to go straight from there? I don't really know. I may I may end up tearing this down. We'll see how that goes. But I want to go straight to the, to the um, rail. And then come... It's really hard to see. I'm sorry. I didn't plan on there being snow right now. Come all the way out to the rail like this. And then hook it up to that. Okay. That should provide power to these buildings. A lot of these buildings anyway. And it says it's without a power supply. I'm hoping that changes. There. Okay. Now it says the temperature's too low. We can't do much about that yet. Aside from providing local heat. Um, or localized heat sources. So we're just going to do that really quick. We're going to go with heat. And I think probably a large one in this area we're going to be receiving coal directly here so we will eventually be able to just supply it but the coal power i think we'll the heating power and stuff we're going to put it maybe over here because coal is going to come off this conveyor belt and i can redirect it into the the heating if i need to so um maybe we'll put a heating plant here yep see how that goes comes all the way across and just directly serves it love it and this will be, I think, sufficiently far away from people. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure this is far enough away from people. I think I want this even further away. Like, maybe over here. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want this to be very close at all. So we'll bring this, I think, maybe to there. And that just means we're going to need... Oh, did I just... Hmm. Can these guys tough it out one more winter? I think they can, right? Tough, tough it out one winter, guys. I think you can do it. Well, I'm just setting up the infrastructure for tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean uh, next year. <laughs> uh, we'll set the engine up, right? So about there should should work. Yep. And again, we don't want to build this with rubles. We just want to keep this sort of in standby. But again, that's going to provide coal directly from this drop-off point and to pr provide it directly to the heating plant here. And then this heating plant can then have the, the heat, you know, get dispersed out to wherever it needs to go. So going along that note, we would want some heat exchangers and a bigger one for sure. This is gonna be a very large city. So we're gonna want a big heat exchanger. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and place it kind of right in the middle of all of this. And um, maybe like right here is a good place. And we're not hitting this. 
which is a little bit of an issue, but maybe I could put it next to this, like two utilities next to each other sort of thing. It looks like I cover every building. I'm expanding this direction, so I kind of want to make sure I'm biased this direction. So it looks like that covers every house, right? Yeah, right about there. So I could get away with it being on the other side of whatever this road is, I think. Nah, I'd rather play it safe. Let's make sure we can get it. So I'll place this right next to here. This heat exchanger. And uh, this is going to need a 300 meter pipe. Right? So we're going to go underground with that pipe. And I'm leaving it paused just because snow. It's going to get really hard to see. Although, actually, with the underground stuff, it'll be easier to see because it'll make the ground darker and then it's going to make it this color right here, right? And then um, we can see it easier then. Maybe it's okay. A lot of play on. Let's go faster speed really quick. See, they're bringing resources, right, to the build site. Love it. It's going to take a while, but before we have any type of train to get here, before we have any vehicles to get out here, we need to do that. And I might just go ahead and, like I said, fund it with money. Uh, but once I've delivered a lot of the components and a lot of the work has been done, um, that way it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, there's still some buildings here, I think, that don't have power. Temperature's too low. Yeah, we really need to do that. I think I do need to pay for this to provide heat in this area. If I want to have the security that I want to have, let me just double check my messages here. Eating problem. Okay, so nothing's caught fire and died yet. Good. It would tell me down here when my, my pump jacks catch fire and stuff. It'll tell me if it uh, has gotten destroyed. Um, I think I might actually just go ahead and build this. Just to get it started. I, I, I want to provide heat. So we're going to take the heating pipes 300. And we're going to go this way. I, I want to go underground here. I realize it's more expensive. Um, but I, I want to do it because it looks better and I just I just really prefer it So it goes all the way this way. It looks like it, it can go as oh, it's so close though, man Oh, I'm gonna need a pump You know what? It's fine though, right? It's gonna be fine. We'll have a pump. The pump will be located um, Probably in this area here There we'll do we'll do that. So let's bring this back. We'll get a heat heating pumping station and we'll place the heating pumping station I think it goes I think the intake is on this side and then those three are the out but they're all the same logo so I really don't know maybe it doesn't matter I'm gonna place this I think over in this area I think I can reach here by think I mean I hope let's go this way because I want to go that way with the town right so We'll go, let's say, there-ish, here-ish with it. Okay. <laughs> Not, never know where I want to go. And then um, we're going to have this pipe go underground and connect to there. Oh, boy. Isn't that expensive? Providing heating for people is expensive. It just is. Of course, this needs power as well. Oh, of course. Of course it does. Um, new idea could be making a switch here. Could make a switch here. Um, and then switch it from this side. Go up, switch, and then in on two sides. So I don't have to run so many lines. I think I'm actually going to do that with the power. Let's take this line. Remove this. We'll keep this going a little bit further to a medium voltage switch, which will be located here, which will be eventually on the other side of the road here. So this switch is going to go like so. And then we'll have this come out straight and then over like that to connect there. And then what we'll do is we'll have these other smaller ones. Let's say the 150 can go um, straight across. To at least there, let's say. Um, and then we want to come like this. Okay. That connects that up to power once more. And then um, we're going to need a separate one from that switch to another substation. 
which is going to be out here, which again, we're going to we're going to expand, so it's going to cover it. Um, so we'll put this, uh, I think, maybe over in this area. Uh, yeah, I think I want it on this side, though. Yeah, we'll put it on this side. Uh, right about here should do it. Although, if I put it over here, then it's even more coverage on this side. And we need to provide power for this, too. So, honestly, we probably should find a spot where it can cover both, if it's as even possible, which it's, it's probably not. I'm going to need three three here. But this this right here needs to be a dedicated line. So, we'll have a, a big medium voltage thing running all the way across here. And then, also, it's coming in from this side, too. So, maybe this ends up being powered powering all of this. I think it's probably the better way to do it. So, we'll bring this to be let's say there it really should go this way though because we're gonna have power this we're gonna have houses and stuff this way i'm gonna do it here anyway that's gonna create some interesting problems when it comes to building but i think it'll work out okay because building when i'm restricted that way oh wait what am i doing that's not what I want to do. Cancel these. Don't build these. Yeah, don't do that. We're going this way. The snow is messing me up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame it on the snow. Definitely. Okay, we're gonna go across here to the road, then bring it across the road like this, and then straight back to this point, and then we connect it like that. All right. So we should have a substation that's powered. It looks like it, yep. It's gonna power the pump, which is there. Hopefully it has power very soon. Um, doesn't look like, this isn't producing because there's no workers. We have to get workers here. Of course we do. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we need workers? But that's the whole nature of it. Workers and resources. You forgot the workers part of this equation, I think. And by you forgot, I mean I forgot. Tell me there's a place I can go. <sighs> there's not. But I can go on this side of it, so I will. Go over here and then wrap around. Or I won't. Hi, can we... Yep. Let's go... Like this. We're paying for this. It's, it's worth it to me to pay for this. I want it up and running now. And we're just going to come like this. Right across the rail track here, like this. And we'll just hook this up straight, like so. So I'll pay for this gravel road, it's fine. And then, let's see. We need to... How do I get workers here? The only way I can think of to get workers here is to bring them in on a helicopter. I think that's the only thing I can do. I gotta bring them in on the chopper. Also, I want to auto-purchase resources. Let me see what this looks like. If I purchase four tons, it's 409 rubles. If I purchase it with dollars, it's 306. That's cheaper to import. Yeah, price per ton is 48.49 for dollars. And rubles is 37. Hmm, interesting. But it costs more. Total with delivery. Ah, here it is, right here. Cost of delivery per ton, 51.2. To where the dollars, cost of delivery is only 22.37. So this is better to import with dollars because we're closer to the NATO border, right? We're really far away. Cost a lot to deliver. So we can keep the lights on with an auto delivery that brings us that much coal. Um, but we're going to need, of course, people to work here to actually produce the heat. So that's going to require us to get a bus stop. And that also means this road is somehow disconnected. What happened there? Look it up. Pay for it. Yep. Um, I think I'm going to get this road actually to continue around. Weirdly, wish I could just make this straight. I hate the, the required the, the road tool. I, I really want them to just... I don't know. Completely remake it. <laughs> That's what I want. I want the completely remake the road tool. Por favor. Gravel roads. And then we'll angle it this way. 
Yep, and then we'll bring it up like this. And then we'll bring it over like this. And this is all just getting built with money. I don't care. And now I'm going to take and get a bus stop over here. I want to bring workers here. So we're going to get um, a bus stop right here. Uh, yeah. I don't want them to go that. I want them to go over here. We'll put the bus stop on this side. And then they can uh, walk across the road and get there from here. So we'll just connect it like that, connect it like that, build it all with resources. Let's get walking paths if we need them. Not sure where the walking paths are for this. Looks like it's over here. Yeah. So it'll just be connected like, that's cool too. It doesn't, it's cleaner this way um, and it doesn't have a meaningful impact on their walking distance, but I can also do this. They may prefer to do this instead just because the walking path is 110% walk speed and the gravel road is 65. So they actually might prefer this instead, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so we need a bus now. I'm going to pay for this. Yep, all this stuff just gets paid for. I got to bring them over from this area. So I'm paying for these roads because I am lazy. Or impatient, not lazy, impatient. We go uh all the way over okay we have enough so i need a bus oh my own my vehicle depot i might need another one what do you think uh what nope technical service is good here road vehicles depot like there's only one reason for this building to exist and that's to spawn vehicles and uh i don't know if it the the distance to the border matters but if it does i'm gonna move it over here and then we can just buy them cheaper and then just they just drive as far as we can to get over to where we need them, you know? Of course, the helicopters could bring them here too, but that's a bit overkill to deliver for this little heating plant over here. It's a bit overkill. I think I can probably just deal with the buses. Um, 85, the speed doesn't matter right now. They're all gravel roads. We'll take something that has maybe lower engine power for now. This will work fine for me. Oh, I purchased it and it doesn't. I have to go back over. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Right there. You there. Your new stop, should you choose to accept it, is here to here. That is all you're doing. That is your entire purpose now. And when you go here, you're probably going to need to refuel at some point. We should set up a gas station. I'll do it. Uh, Industry roads and stuff too, right? They're going to be moving things around over here and maybe crossing over here. I think having another gas station is probably a good idea anyway. We'll put one right over here. Let's say this. Okay. And uh, once again, we're just going to leave it. Apparently that's asphalt road. Oh, yes, it definitely is. Okay, fine. Um, this gets built. 13,000. Not bad. And then we're going to auto purchase. And I think we're going to purchase it with dollars. Yeah, the delivery fee is lower. We're going to do an auto purchase for fuel and uh, we're going to keep it just lack to eight tons. So there we go. And that will purchase it with dollars. And then the vehicles that are using this path can get here to refuel if they need it. So now it's all about that vehicle. Can it get there? Is it going to drive all the way here? Where is that bus that I just had? Did it refuel here first? Wait, where did it go? It's got to be here. It's got to be on this, this road. I think it's this. Yeah. Grad Stali. Ravadenya. What? Ra Raven, Raven Dima. Raven Dima. Hey. Raven Dima. I don't know. Something. Anyway, so... The whole insurance policy I was talking about, man. Jesus, what am I doing here? Okay, so what I want, and I'm gonna have to move these now, I think. Yeah, because these aren't, well, I could put it right here. Yeah, I could probably put it right here. Uh, I want a helicopter pad next to the fire department. And if you place it next to the fire department, the fire department can actually use it. Uh, as long as it will allow me to place it, which it will, but I don't know if it's actually highlighting the fire department. To me, it has to be out the back. It might it might need to be in the back. Let's get rid of these lines real quick. 
We'll probably have to re redo them. They were nice and clean next to that, though, weren't they? Uh, interesting. It's not allowing it. It's not highlighting it. I'm pretty sure the fire department can use this if I put this here. I want to double check this, though. I'm going to save it really quick. Let's call this, what, 17? My Republic. YouTube 17. Is that really what video I'm on? Holy crap, man. What is going on with my life right now? I'm playing way too much of this and not playing any of the other games on my channel. It's just like, yeah, sure. Hey, Anna who? <laughs> right now, for me, it's that way. I'm sorry. It's just like, I'm having way too much fun with this. Um, so I think this building still has no power. Oh, well, it's because I disconnected it. You silly. So I saved it. I, I, I want to see if this works. It should. I believe it should work. Um, you put the heliport right next to the fire department and it should let it use helicopters. But now I'm like struggling to understand if that's actually happening. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's place it. I guess we'll place it down here and find out. Go maybe like this. If it doesn't work, then the tutorial is a big fat liar pants. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have worked. Hmm. Interesting. I got to figure this out. Because that was the whole plan. And now I'm finding myself regretting it. Like this little... Oh, wait. There's a path here. Oh. This tiny little path. I bet that's messing it up. I hope that's what's messing it up. Yes, there it is. Okay, sweet. Awesome. See how it's going green like the other buildings? Beautiful. All right, so we're going to connect it right here. And just put it right up like this. Okay, so heliport is on the back of the fire department. Now we're going to get the line. And not quite as clean as it was, but it'll come down a little bit. And then around this and then connect on that side okay it's acceptable and now we have a helicopter pad on the fire department so we have firefighters we've got trucks let's get a helicopter fire bucket capacity i like this uh 305 miles per kilometers per hour is awesome m10 that's a very expensive helicopter <laughs> that's a very expensive helicopter it's gonna service the whole thing here though right like it's gonna service a lot of stuff including this entire plant okay so that helicopter needs to be good it needs to do things that helicopters do and it needs to do them well all right so there we go buildings without power supply why why you really would not want power to be this close to the helicopter i'm sorry you would really not want this this is actually a terrible idea I'm going to do this just on principle because <laughs> I don't like the way this looks at all. No, thanks. Yeah, we're going to go out a little further. Thanks. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, it's the 14 ones. But maybe not. Looks like it's the 15 ones. Uh, nope. 14? 13? No, 10? Which one are you? Silly. What's going on here? Oh, I'm at a high voltage, dumbass. There you go. 14 sounded high. It did sound high. Yeah, all right, then. We're going to come out this way. And then over. And that is a lot more acceptable than what we had before. Okay. Is it close still? Yeah, but it's not unreasonable. I mean, the building is closer right now, right? So this isn't that unreasonable now. All right. We're just going to have to have good pilots. But now we have to have power. Now we provided power for this one. Did we provide power for the other one? No. That's probably why. So we want a switch that went to this one and then went out to that one. The next one is going to be another line. Might as well just go with the two, I guess. We'll come back out. Yep, it's very crowded. I know. I mean, it's kind of 
mixed in with each other, right? It looks kind of bad, but is what it is. All the way over like uh, this to the road, then across like this, then over or just direct connection. Fine. So that should provide power for everything. It should. I, it should. Blow. Why? Wait. The transformer has no power. What did I do? What have I done? Electricity problem. I know shit. Wait, are people not working my power plant right now? Look at all these electricity problems. Hang on. No workers. So I think the game has like a, I want to say a death mechanic because I can fill buildings. And I noticed that once I fill buildings, sometimes they just leave. I think people are leaving me. I say this as I click on every building that's maxed out. No, I need people to work in the power plant. Absolutely. All of you uneducated people are supposed to go to the power plant. You're all supposed to be working there. Why are you not working there? Yeah, power plant, 100% of you. Damn you. What are you doing? You're going to the bus stop. This is silly. Go work in the power plant or else I will... <laughs> I'll take away what minuscule rights you have. Um, a little thing I did off camera. I expanded the oil storage so we could store more. Um, just just to do it, I may put another refinery in and that, and that will be helpful. So um, we have twice as much oil storage and it's all feeding into the power plant still. So if you take a look underground, you see the lines. I had to add a new pump here to do that. And then the line splits off to go to this tank and then this tank. And then this tank also feeds this. So the oil refinery now pulls from both of these. And feeds it into these, you know, all the same. But it's it's pulling from two sources now. Hopefully that means that, you know, we'll have more workers. Look at all these guys working here, but not here. Get in here. <laughs> I need more houses. Let's get another one more, one more building. Or, you know what? I can start setting up the process because I want to move these guys out of here. I could set up the process of just like, you know, getting people to come to here to work. That's This is the bus stop where everyone will come to work, right? And I think I need more buses. The fact that there are people waiting and there are no buses to get them tells me that I should have more buses. So let's get uh, two more buses. The first bus is going to take people from this bus stop all the way over to this bus stop so that they may work if they choose to. The next bus stop is going to take people between this one this one and also this one really need people to get over there and make sure that they're working so two buses bringing people to this point so that they can get in here and work and it's only 15 so like it's not that big of a deal and the, also the passenger uh helicopter is waiting because the station over there has no power speaking of which we should have power on everything now still no what in the world what did i mess up Nope, wait, oh, okay, it's getting power, but it's not. It's getting it, but it's not. Hmm. What did I mess up? I wonder. Also, these things can catch fire too. I'm wondering if the helicopter can help with that. Is there any way to see what the helicopter's range is? I guess it's just hovering, but that's only roads. Like, that's road range. Hmm. Building temperatures too low. I know. I'm trying to get people to work here, okay? Nobody's coming over here to work. Not yet, anyway. Is the bus even here? There's workers waiting. Is there a bus coming? There's supposed to be. It's right here. Yep. It's slowly working its way over here in the snowy, muddy roads. It's gross. And the reason it's gonna take this path instead of this one is because this one isn't done yet. It takes too much money. So I I know I just spent 192,000 on a helicopter for fire. 
but this road is too expensive. Yeah. It's because I can build this road. I can't build the helicopter. But once this bus gets here, it should start pulling these workers and bringing them over there, and then everyone can be warm and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Got this. Missing some ingredients. We can auto purchase with dollars, probably. Import costs are really nice. We're just going to give them some alcohol, okay? Make sure these people have adequate supplies of vodka. We must make sure the vodka is in good supply. We'll invite a bunch of people to come in and live with us. We'll invite some Westerners over too, you know, just to help increase the cultural diversity of our community. Because that's clearly something that, you know, the Soviet Republic would care about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this road will just keep being made and this one will keep being made and all the things. Okay, I think we were kind of productive today. I mean, what did we really do today? I mean, there was a lot of stuff, but I paid for a lot of things. Um, I unsuccessfully set up the heating for our City of Steel. Um, we brought energy from this side all the way over, and we started powering things. At least I believe we powered things. Capacity. Too many connections. Okay. So maybe we didn't. I think instead what we could do is tear down these little houses, right? Nobody lives here. Find one that they live in. Does anyone live in any of these? How about one that has actual... Yeah. So this is using how much energy? Like basically nothing. Do I need another transformer? I think I do. Or not a transformer. I think I need another... Uh... Another substation to power all of this. Yeah. Um, we can get electrical substation put in over here. This will help alleviate some of it, I guess. Place it right there. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll bring the line. Same lines. Bring it over here. And we'll say, I think the same one. We'll just bring this line straight over through here. Right? Kind of line it up with the other poles. And then bring it all the way over. Um, I actually want to go this way with it. So it's a line along the other line. Yep. Like this. Along the other line. Diagonal. And then straight over from there. And that will hopefully alleviate the power problems. Yep. 88% now. Wow. 37%. That's a significant thing. Thankfully, we're not expanding this way anymore, right? We're bringing it this direction. Yeah. And then you might be wondering, you know, how about, why not just use a, a splitter from the existing line and, and divide it? It's because the wattage that's coming off this line is fixed. It's 2.35. That is the most that's ever going to come off of this line. No matter, even if I split it, it it's still only going to be two, three, five on this line, right? You're, you're bottlenecked by your weakest link, right? So by bringing two sets of lines this way, I double the capacity that these can do. And now if this needs to, which doesn't, but if it needs to go all the way to two, five, it can, as opposed to being hamstring to half of that and splitting the difference here. I don't know why that is complaining though, because it certainly doesn't show that it's using that, right? Like it says here, estimated maximum consumption. That's the maximum consumption. So they're not consuming at maximum right now, I guess. Uh, but at maximum, they'll do 221 of 250. So if I split this and maybe do like 15 each way or 125 or whatever each way, right? If I do 125 each way, this will still not be able to supply it because at maximum it's 221. Same thing here. 092. Splitting here would have been fine with a lower, but as I add more buildings, this number potential is going to go up, right? And so now it's just a matter of trying to figure out how in the hell do I keep the power supply on? And that's probably with workers again. It's probably people not working here. Yeah, we need more people to work this power plant. So just to help with that, I don't like it, but just to help with this, I'm going to grab one of these cheap prefabs with 43 workers in it. 
And I'm going to say, hey there, you guys. Yeah, you're going to live right next to this stupid thing. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of cold, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Soviet cold. Bet your ass it's cold. And invite them. Yep, they have some basic education. That's cool. You all work here. Go. You all work there. And now you get to go to work. And fill this building. And produce much power. And make sure it stays on, damn it. <laughs> okay. Yep, we're getting wattage. We're getting good stuff. There we go. We're getting power. All the buildings are powered. Temperature's too low still. Because we're getting... But we're getting powered at least. And now just a matter of getting workers over here. This building has no power too. I need to bring power over here. Damn it. I will do that. I'm going to do it from this side. We're going to bring uh, over to here, right? So this high voltage is going to go to another transformer here. That's going to soul this. That, that transformer is exclusive to this area, right? We're going to do that. That's going to happen... Uh, I'm gonna take care of it. Thanks for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have. And I will hopefully see you next time, which will probably be this game because it's the only one I care to play right now. I don't know why. I'm hooked. So hooked. See ya. Bye-bye.